This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Well, Dick, overall, weather's going to be relatively quiet. It'll be cool tomorrow morning and then plenty of cloud cover again across the area, but temperatures will be warm. Highs in the low 70s, and we'll keep the clouds rolling in into Friday. We'll also keep the warmth with the chance of showers pretty minimal, maybe just a quick sprinkle over the northern mountains. Otherwise, not bad and fewer clouds into the weekend. Late today, Santa Fe DA Angela Spence Pacheco said she has decided a recent shooting by a police officer there was justified. It happened March 4th on Johnson Lane, a residential area of the city. Officer Charles Laramie was responding to an alarm call in that neighborhood where 77 year old Robert Dominguez, a former police officer himself, served as a caretaker for several houses. Laramie eventually came across Dominguez at one of those houses. His belt tape recorder was rolling as he warned Dominguez to drop the gun Dominguez was holding. Dominguez says he didn't understand what the officer was saying. He is recovering from gunshot wounds to the torso. He claimed he just couldn't see or hear Officer Laramie clearly. Santa Fe police have released those belt tape recordings. We'll have them tonight on News 13 at 10 o'clock. Governor Susana Martinez today signed a bill that will give New Mexicans longer advance notice about public meetings. Government groups ranging from city councils to school boards to state regulators will be required to publish their agendas 72 hours in advance. Right now, the requirement's only 24 hours. The idea is to give people more of a chance to have a voice in decisions that affect their lives. So bringing the people to the process was extremely important to me and to ensure that New Mexicans know exactly where their dollar, tax dollars are going. The governor also signed a bill that tightens the rules on issuing state contracts without seeking competitive bids. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.